Alright, today we're going to be looking at recreating a guitar tone from a record and kind of the thought process behind it. So the guitar tone we're going to recreate today sounds like this. And my final product I made sounds like this. So it sounds pretty close, great guitar tone, you could EQ it to taste. So my thought process behind this is let's listen to the original one more time and try and figure out what kind of amp and guitar that they might be using. So it's definitely on the cleaner side, has a mid-range pluckiness to it. So kind of an industry standard, you think Fender or Vox. So for me, I chose a Vox AC30 since it has a little more mid-range pluckiness to it. And for this part, a guitar, I would go straight for a Strat or a Telecaster. Today, we're using a Telecaster. Now on our second listen, I'd listen for any effects going on. Is there a delay, reverb, etc.? So you could hear there's definitely some delay, and that is a dotted eighth delay. You could kind of tell just by listening to it. And they have some reverb going on to add some width. And there are two guitars recorded, panned left and right, kind of stereo guitars. So that's important, keep that in mind. So now that we have our guitar and amp picked out, let me go through my signal chain. So I have my Telecaster to a Vox AC30, and then it's going to an API EQ into an 1176 compressor. So if you have like Waves or UAD, just do the 1176 plugin. Now I'm going outboard for my delay into a Boss DD20 delay. Just because sometimes the outboard delays can cut through a little better depending on the part. Then I'm going to a reverb and then a limiter just to raise the volume. So let's check out this Telecaster. I'm going to play it in the bridge position, the middle position, and then the neck position. And you tell me which one you think sounds best for a part like this. <laughs> So for me, I like the middle position and the neck position the best, just because the bridge was a little bit too trebly thin for me. So since this original part had a stereo guitar, what I did is recorded the neck, one take, pan it, and the middle position, one take, and pan it. So my final, final result one more time is this. So just as a little refresher, it's the Telecaster stereo tracked the middle and neck position to a Vox AC30 API EQ, 1176 compressor, dotted eighth delay, reverb, and a limiter. So there you go. And now you have a great clean kind of delay guitar tone you could use in future sessions or for artists you play with. So I hope this helps.